In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to open a closed path. So if we use something like the pin tool, and we just create a shape out here, as we click and create anchor points for this shape or this path, eventually we can close it. That's when you come up to the last or the first anchor point and you see a circle on your pin tool. So this path is now closed, which means if we select the direct selection tool and select any one of these anchor points, moving them around by clicking and then clicking and dragging, we'll just move the anchor point around. So this path is, is totally closed. How do we open this guy up? You might notice when you click on an anchor point and press the delete key, it deletes that path. Yes, it's open, but you've lost all these lines. If you press the P key for the pen tool and hold option or alt, or not that, you just hover over one of the anchor points, you're gonna remove that anchor point, but the path will stay closed. So to actually open this, or maybe split a path is a better term, we're gonna press the C key on our keyboard. That's the scissors tool. So if you see the eraser tool, click and hold it and grab the scissors tool. So the scissors tool allows you to cut at a certain point. You can cut on an anchor point or anywhere along the path. So you must have your object selected. And if we wanted to cut right here, we could click on that anchor point. Now what that does, if I press the A key for my direct selection tool, it creates two anchor points here. There's a line coming from this one to the same exact spot as the line coming from this one. So they're kind of overlapping. If I click on one of these anchor points and then click and drag, you can see how we've split that shape right there. So we could undo twice. If you wanted to open the path at this spot, press P for the pin tool and you can actually continue the path from this location or you could press the A key, select one of these anchor points and delete them and now you could press the P key for the pen tool and continue on from here. You could close it back to this one or you could create something else and close it like that. Now that's not the only reason I would split a path, for instance. However, that's just an example of how you could continue that path on. Now let's go back to when we had this full shape or this full path. We're gonna press the C key for the scissors tool. Like I said, you can click anywhere on this. So in the middle of this, path between these two anchor points, I could click and I could press the A key and now I could actually split the path right there. So that's a quick way to split paths with the scissors tool here in Illustrator.